guys uh, today I'm doing my April favorites for y'all um, I don't have a lot of things for this past month that were my favorites but um, I have a few so um, a couple of them I'm really excited about so let me go on and get started okay the first thing um, I wanted to try something new for my face um, during the month of April just because I've always had bad problems with um, blemishes and acne and everything and um, you know I've, I've never used anything prescription probably needed to at certain points um, now that I've gotten older you would think my face would get better but it has not so I just wanted to try something different than anything I've ever used before so I found um, these towelettes made by Pons uh, Pons has been around for such a long time and they're a really good high quality brand um, and so I decided to try these. They have several different kinds of towelettes. Um, I purchased two different kinds. This is the Pons Exfoliating Renewal Towelettes. It's very thin because I have used them almost um, all up. They come with uh, 30 towelettes and I decided to use these for the morning time. The scent is uh, citrus and cucumber and it smells really really good. Um, it just it really does like I don't know when you wake up in the morning and you put this on the smell is so good it almost wakes you up um, it makes you feel refreshed and it exfoliates your skin so I decided to use this in the mornings and then um, it came with like a five bonus five pack bonus pack of these towelettes right here and it says luminous clean uh, with soft white uh, kaolin kaol clay, kaolin clay, I'm not sure you say that, with moisturizing ingredients. So it's just like a five pack to try. Um, and um, actually, the other towelettes I bought also came with a five pack um, of these to try. And these smell really fresh, and I like them pretty good. I can't tell how much I like them because I haven't used them the whole month. I only had uh, 10 of these towelettes to try. Um, so I think I like them, but I haven't, you know, used them but a few times, so I'm not sure what I think about those yet. But the other ones that I bought for nighttime use are these. They're Evening Soothe to use in the evening. Um, and this is with chamomile and white tea. And um, these, this also came with 30. So, yeah, they've lasted about a month. Um, and this just smells so fresh, too. Um, I love them. And they, they take all of your makeup off so well. I like to be able to see all the makeup on the towelette, to see it coming off. It takes all of your makeup off um, as it also is cleaning your face. And I don't know if it's just one of these or using the two together, you know, one, the exfoliating one in the morning and the evening soothe at night. I don't know, but something about ever since I've been using these for the past month, my face has been so much more cleared up. I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but compared to what it was, my face is so much better. I am very impressed. And so, you know, I just wanted to try them for one month just to see how they worked. And if they worked, I was going to continue to use them. Well, um, I've used them for almost a full month. They're almost gone and I have seen major improvement in my face and I'm going to continue to buy these for next month. Um, and one thing I will say, these do not say anywhere on the packs that it takes off um, eye makeup as well, particularly um, waterproof mascara, but I will just say that it does because I wear waterproof mascara and I didn't know for sure if I wanted to continue using these if it didn't because I was trying to find a towelette that also took off my waterproof mascara and it does um, it I, I, I don't even have to rub really really hard I just rub back and forth it all comes off um, I don't really nothing um, gets off like into my eyeballs to make them burn you know nothing drips into them but I do the eye, make, eye part last I do like my whole face and then I clean the eye makeup off last so maybe a lot of the liquid that's in the towelettes has already come off on my face so there's nothing left to burn my eyes I don't know but it removes my eye makeup and the waterproof mascara so yes I'm very impressed with these and I will continue to buy those um, the next thing that I have is the Dove white beauty bar for deep moisture it has one-fourth moisturizing cream I always have bought um, the Dove soap that was for sensitive skin because I have sensitive skin. Um, so much irritates my skin or breaks me out 
Um, I love soap with some scent to it. Like my husband and my kids use Irish Spring and I love the smell of those type soaps. And I can use them just a few times a month if I want to, but I can't use it on a daily basis because it just starts making me itch and breaks me out or it just irritates my skin. So I've always used the Dove Sensitive Skin. Cleans perfectly well. It just not it just doesn't have really a scent to it. Um, I decided to try this. I didn't know if it would do well with my sensitive skin, but so far it has. I've been using this for about, um, I guess, a good two to three weeks. And, um, well, I guess I started about the middle of May. I mean, middle of April, excuse me, um, using this. And it's worked really good. And the reason why I got this is because my skin has been so dried out this summer. It almost doesn't matter how much lotion that I use. My skin is so dried out and it's just itchy to the point I'm thinking I have psoriasis or something I mean I've just scratched and scratched and scratched especially my legs and since this has um, a pretty good bit of moisturizing cream in it I decided to try this and I'm lucky because it has a scent to it it's a good clean fresh scent and it moisturizes my skin and so far so good I don't have um, any itching like I was um, my skin just seems more soothed um, but yet it's not breaking out it's not irritated um, even though it has some fragrance in it. So, so far, so good. And I really, really love this. And it's pretty inexpensive, too. And I'm the only one in my house who uses this kind, so it lasts me a pretty good while. Okay. Um, all right. This is going to be kind of random, but I have been eating these steadily almost every single day. The Fiber One Protein Bars. This one is Caramel Nut and this one is coconut almond. Uh, the coconut almond is my favorite. Um, they both have seven grams of sugar. The coconut almond has six grams of protein and the caramel nut has seven grams of protein, so this one has just slightly more. And yet also, it has 130 calories and this has 140, so this also has 10 less calories in it. And they both have 20% of your daily value of fiber. Now, I cannot eat just the regular Fiber One bars because I don't know what it is about them, but they have me going to the bathroom steadily and I do not have a problem with regularity. So um, I'm not wanting to constantly run to the bathroom. Like they would have me buckled over in pain. I don't know. I, I don't do well with those. But the protein bars are different and they don't bother my stomach at all. Um, and I guess maybe it's because of the protein in it, but these are pretty filling. And since I've been on my 90 day weight loss challenge, I've been trying to eat less calories. So not every day, but I would say five days a week, roughly, I eat one of these for lunch. This is my lunch. Um, at first I would still starve just because my stomach has, you know, it's taken a long time to kind of shrink where it's taken less to fill me up. And sometimes I'm still kind of hungry, um, later on after eating one, but so far, so far, I guess for the most part, it's pretty filling. And like I said, maybe it's the protein in it that's making it um, more filling. I don't know, but I mean, you can't beat 130 and 140 calories for a lunch. So I've been eating one of these almost every day this whole past month. And I love them. They taste so good. They don't have me running to the bathroom. And they're pretty filling. So yeah I've really been liking those I know that's kind of a random thing but it is one of my April favorites so I had to put that in there okay also I decided to try out these new nail polishes um, I'm the type of person I don't want to go spend a lot of money on a nail polish I like to try it first see how I like the color see how I like the quality of it if I really like the color really like the quality um, I'll keep buying them if I like the color but I don't like the quality then I will go buy a more expensive brand with you know a similar color um, that I like and the cheaper brand but just try a higher priced one to see if it gives me a better quality uh, but these um, four nail polishes that I bought are the um, Wet n Wild and they are very inexpensive and when I was a teenager I bought Wet n Wild all the time and loved them. I haven't bought this brand in years. In fact, I haven't even been wearing uh, nail polish in forever but I'm trying to have my nails grow. These on my left hand are finally starting to grow except that one broke off. It had a chip in it and then just kind of broke off but um, wearing the nail polish is helping my nails grow because with nail polish I'm not going to bite them. It's like keeping my nails stronger I think. So um, yeah, I just loved these colors when I saw them, and I wanted to see if I'm still liking Wet n Wild as much as I did as a teenager. So, I've got this shiny, silvery, 
glimmer, you know, it's a glittery, glimmery type nail polish. And the name of this one is called Kaleidoscope. And then I have this other one. This one is called Metallica. And it's kind of a silver grayish nail polish. I don't even know if y'all can see this. I can't tell if it's focusing or not. Um, but I decided to either get these to wear together, like maybe the glitter on one nail. Um, I'm not sure, but I have worn it like that before. I think it's really pretty. This, I love this color very much. And so far, I think the quality is decent. I have found some nail polishes to dry quicker, which I prefer, and these don't dry very quick. But, I mean, I wore this nail polish for a whole week before I took it off. And it looked really good for, like, four days. Um, and then the last three days, I just didn't care. So, I think it worked pretty well. And then the other two colors I got, this one is called Tickled Pink. And it's just kind of a light um, pink. I just think it's really pretty and girly. And then I got this pink glitter nail polish called Sparked. And I got these to wear together also, and um, or I can you know do them separately, but they're just so pretty. Um, that I just love the pink. Um, like I said, it's very girly and feminine. Like I said, not sure if you can see those or not, um, or how well my camera focuses, but I think this one is my favorite, and I like them a lot. Okay, and I have just one more thing to show you guys. Last month I was talking about how I'm into the wax melts. Um, I am obsessed, and I have tons of them, but I finally got the Scentsy brand um, wax melts that I ordered. I got them in. I have the Sticky Cinnamon Bun, and I'm telling you, I, this is the one I tried the sample of. Oh, it is awesome, and these literally make your whole entire house smell good. I put one of these in. Um, my son, who has, his bedroom is like to the other end of the house from where I have my wax melt warmer, which I need two wax melt warmers since we're moving because our house is so much bigger. I need one like on either end of my house, but um, I, right now I have one wax melt warmer. It's on the opposite end of the house from my oldest son. He came out of his bedroom and said, man, I can smell that all the way from in my bedroom. This one is Mocha Doodle, and it's kind of a mocha coffee type scent. Oh, it just smells so freaking good. I love them. This one is Simply Vanilla. If you just like a, a vanilla scent, and I love a vanilla scent anywhere. I love to go to someone's house or a place of business and just smell regular vanilla. And that one smells really good. And then this one is called Vanilla Suede. I almost think it's a slightly more um, masculine vanilla scent. I don't know. This one, almost, it almost gives off a slight vanilla mixed with like a cologne, but not like an overbearing cologne type scent. And there was one more that I wanted really, really bad. Um, can't think of the name of it now, but they were out of it when I ordered it. But yes, I bought these mostly to use um, for when we move into our new house, which will be soon, hopefully the next few weeks. And these just make your whole house smell good. Um, so I'm very excited to use these in my new house. And I just love these so much. So anyway, that's all I have for this month. It wasn't a lot, um, but I'm sure I talked and rambled on enough to make up for the lack of items that I had to show y'all for April. So yes, those are my April favorites. Um, give me a thumbs up if y'all like me to do um, my monthly favorites. I've been trying to kind of continue these once a month because um, every month I usually have something new that I'm loving at that particular time. So um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. And um, thanks for watching and just, um, if you like the video give me it like I said give me a thumbs up um, subscribe feel free to leave video ideas and yeah thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye